Good morning. Here we are, uh, northern Wisconsin, Anathoth Community Farm. Uh, doing bird chores. Here they are, the uh, current uh, chickens we have here. Uh, these are the laying hens. We also have some broilers that are actually going out to their pasture today. And these guys here are actually all refugee chickens. Uh, we got them from two different places that uh, we're just going to like let them go. And uh, we said, no, we'll bring, we'll bring them out here. So this is, what I, this is my office. This is what I get to do every morning is uh, come out here, uh, get my walk in. You know, they tell old people that you should get a dog because it'll make you walk. I don't need a dog to make me walk. I've got a few chores I gotta do yet. So these are the laying hens. This is the portable egg mobile. It's kind of parked here for a while and we move it a couple times during the, during the summer. Uh, here's where you have easy access to eggs. And, oh, someone was just coming in to uh, give us a few. So here's this, and it just so happens at this time, uh, we've got a few, we've got a, a few refugee ducks. This is uh, this is our manure pile from the from the winter for the dairy cow and her calf that were in the in the barn here. Uh, I just I do want to just show you. Uh, where the ducks have landed for the time being. These were ducks we got, again, from a friend, had too many things going on, needed to reduce her stress a little bit. So she said, can you take some ducks? We said, uh, sure, we'll take some ducks. So the ducks are living in the steer's corral. This is what they use to get out of the wind in the, um, in the wintertime. And where we, bring them when we ship them off to the processor. So yeah, here's ducks uh, hanging out in the corral. Uh, the reason they hang out here and don't wander around like the chickens is because we've heard from duck people that they don't know enough to put themselves to bed at night. You have to round them up and, uh, and encourage them to go to their safe spot. We're just simply too busy to do that right now. So, so they get to live in here. It's, it's way nicer than where they were. Uh, so, there you go. Uh, welcome to my office. This is this is what family farming looks like. I'm a family and I farm, and, and uh, I don't have to worry about what's going on with uh, JBS and Smithfield and Cargo and all the rest uh, when they get cyber hacked and their operations stop and animals what get stuck in the pipeline. Some of them have to be euthanized. The prices fluctuate and everything. I, I direct market. I, I, I have such good meat that we raise here. Uh, there's where we did bale grazing this last winter. Uh, that I, I actually oversold last year with the, with the pandemic. And that was okay. We still had a lot. Uh, but yeah, here's, here's, uh, here's my office. Those are hazelnuts and a swale. Uh, we harvest rainwater and snow melt runoff. Um, you could do this too. We need more people to do this. Otherwise, all of this vacant farmland that's out there is going to be bought by the likes of Bill Gates and company. And uh, it's all going to become uh, places where uh, factory farms want to spread manure to go into the watershed. So uh, come, come on out here, buy some land, uh, do some small farming. You're going to love it. That's what I got. Have a good day.